So here I'm showing a start button procedure with Ozzy. I am presenting my hand. Um, here I'm doing it pretty conspicuously. Be much more subtle with Enzo, please. Just Ozzy needs to, you know, have a look. He's very used to my hand movements. Um, and I'm feeding a little off to the side. And currently it is my hand that is drawing his attention. So you see him kind of glance over and straighten out his head. And that is what I will be selecting as the start button because it's something that he's consistently giving me. So at some point, um, he's probably going to anticipate my hand showing up there, and he's going to straighten out his head before. Yeah, you can see that change starting to happen here. Very good. Um, he's almost there. And there he straightened out before my hand came. And then I know he's ready to make the switch there. So with Enzo, you may have to do a couple of sessions of just pairing um, and move your hand very slightly. And um, at some point he'll understand, um, so as he's experienced, but at some point Enzo will also understand that his straightening out the head, um, cocking the ear at you, looking at you with his eyes, whatever it is that you select and that he gives you repetitively is making uh, the hand appear. If you use, lose it, just go back to the pairing procedure. And you can see that I first go for air pets. Um, I would suggest the same method, so don't touch him directly, but go for kind of an air pad, vary your difficulties. You saw me kind of making bigger strokes, smaller strokes, so don't always make it harder. <laughs> Ozzy's giving me a paw target. Um, and um, I would go for um, nearing his body, not touching him yet. So another option would be body targets. You could use a start button to get him used to kind of having your hand near your body, like those air pads that I was modeling earlier. And once you're able to kind of be near his body, you can see if he might make the choice to target your hand. So instead of luring him over, you might, once he's ready, I'll model. With Ozzy, he seems very busy. Thank you, guys. <laughs> so you might, um, you know, get it until you can hover here, and then you can reward him for touching your hand. Hover, 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 hover. There, he touched my hand. That is by accident at first, but eventually he'll understand that he'll get the treat for um, touching me. There, he made a conscious choice there. If he is not touching, then he might not be quite ready for it. Good. <laughs> I'm using a marker for this, but you don't have to. Chin, and then you can obviously start scratches from there, or you could do it with the ear. That was purely by accident, but there he went and put his ear in my hand. Because he's a smart little boy. Good job. And once you have a touch, you could expand the touch on your 